So in this video, we're going to learn about images and curve mirrors, and we'll figure out how to locate an image when we're using a curved mirror. So there are two different kinds of curved mirrors. The first one are convex mirrors. They flex outwards towards you, so it's like looking at the outside of a ball. And then a concave mirror caves inward, so when you're looking at it, you're looking at the inner cave of it. So concave mirrors, like I said before, are curved inward. So they're like the inside of a sphere. So if you cut a ball in half, you'd be looking at the inside of the ball. The center of curvature is right here. It's where the center of the sphere would be. So right in the middle. Um, we aren't looking at the entire sphere, so sometimes that can be confusing. Um, the principal axis is a thin horizontal line that goes through the center of the mirror, like so. Um, and then the focal point is the point where an incident ray near and parallel to that principal axis, remember that's where your object will be resting on. Um, so the focal point is where an incident ray hits the mirror and then goes through the focal point. So they all reflect when they're close to the, um, the, the mirror, they'll reflect back through the focal point. So we're going to practice drawing some um, images. So the first thing that you're supposed to do is to draw a horizontal incident ray over the top of the object, and then you're going to draw the reflected ray through the focal point. Now I don't have a ruler. You would use a ruler. I'm going to do my very best to draw straight lines. So there's our incident ray going to the mirror, and then we're going to reflect through the focal point, like so. Then you're going to draw a second incident ray at an angle over the object and through the focal point till it hits the mirror. So that would be like so. And then you're going to reflect it horizontally back like so. And then you'll locate the image. So the image is where those two lines meet. The bottom of the image, like here, is always going to rest on the, the principal axis. So we're going to draw this little object now. There's our pencil. And now we will talk about the lost characteristics. So when the focal point is between the center of curvature um, or at the head of the image or object, the location will be further away than the object. The orientation will be inverted or upside down. The size, you can see that it's bigger. And the type is real, which means that we didn't have to um, locate um, the image behind the mirror. We didn't have to extend the light rays behind to find out where they crossed. So that is where you would find your image. And those are the characteristics. So in this example, the object is in front of the focal point. So there will be a little bit of a difference on where our image is going to f uh, appear. So we'll go horizontally in, and then we need to do a reflected ray like so. And then the other one, this one's a little trickier, you have to draw the angle till it hits the mirror over the object like so, and then you reflect it back. Now there's a problem here. Those aren't two problems, actually. That's not perfectly straight. Um, these two reflected rays are never going to meet. And when that happens, you have to extend the reflected rays behind the mirror, like so. And then you find out where they cross. So our image is going to appear here, like so. There's our pencil. And you can see that it's a lot bigger and it's not inverted anymore. So the location is, is still a little bit further. The orientation is upright. For the location, we can also say it's behind the mirror. Not really behind the mirror, but it appears that way. And then the size is larger. And the type is virtual because we had to 
um, extend the light rays behind the mirror to figure out where it would appear. All right, so this next one, the object is behind the center of curvature and the focal point. So here we go. I'm going to try very hard to draw a horizontal light ray in. Then we're going to reflect it through the focal point like so. Then we're going to do the next one through the focal point until it hits the mirror and reflecting it back like so. There we go. And now we'll locate the image. It's right here. Oops, I'm going to undo that. It's right here, kind of. There's our pencil. Okay, so the location, it's closer to the mirror than the object. Uh, its orientation is a little bit smaller. Or sorry, it's inverted. Got ahead of myself. Its size is a little bit smaller. And its type is real again. So if you've ever tried with a spoon or any other concave mirror you might have around, um, the spoon's the easiest one to find. If you're behind the focal point, you will appear upside down, but probably smaller than real size. If you cross the focal point and you're between the focal point and the spoon, you'll suddenly flip and appear really big and um, upright. Uh, maybe not super in focus too. So you can try that the next time you have a spoon. Now, convex mirrors are curved outward like the outside of a sphere. So you can see that on this image. Um, and you can see that the light rays are, when they reflect, are, div are reflecting all over the place. So let's have a look at what that will look like. So same thing. Um, you'll draw your horizontal incident ray in and then the reflected ray, and then you'll add a second one. Um, through the focal point and then add the reflected ray and then we'll add a dashed line to extend the rays behind the mirror and locate and sketch the image. There's some formatting issues on my slide here. Um, you'll notice that the focal point's behind the mirror because the curve is the other way. Okay, so we're going to draw our horizontal light ray inwards. Oops, that's a little on an angle. Try that again. There's our horizontal light ray. And then it's going to reflect through the focal point, like so. And we're going to show it bouncing off the mirror. Remember, it's going to hit the mirror and bounce back. But it does bounce back from the focal point. Um, so the next thing we need to do is have one that's going through the focal point and reflecting backwards. So we're going to draw this, trying to line this up like so. And then when it hits the mirror, it reflects backwards, backwards, like so. And now we need to draw, extend the light rays where they cross. There's our little image right there. There's our little pencil where those meet. So these ones, um, so the location is, uh, it's closer behind. Orientation is upright. The size is smaller. And the type is virtual. So um, for these ones, you these kind of mirrors you might find in the corner of a shop or a library or somewhere where you can observe people throughout the entire uh, room or building, I guess room, um, everybody will look small but upright in the, in the mirror. Now to check our work on a couple of these, you can see now um, what, um, where the image would be. So there's our pencil behind the focal point for the first one. So it reflects, it reflects, it's larger, it's further away and so on. This is the convex mirror. So you can see the, um, where the 
the bouncing back happened. Now in this image here, in this example, um, they didn't draw the dotted line to the focal point, makes it less messy. So um, you might wanna choose to do that. So the horizontal incident ray goes in, you would line up your ruler through the focal point and just draw the reflected ray. Don't draw the dotted line through here. And then this one down and out. And then um, when you're done, you'll, you'll do dotted lines for the reflected rays and then figure out where it appears. And you can see that it's smaller and upright.